musambu. Seven times. Thank you, Lord. Where are they mukama? Where are they mukama? Thank you, Lord. 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 Whoa. Lord, we thank you for Pastor Jessica Kayanja. Jessica Kayanja. Come on, welcome Pastor Jessica to come to the Pastor Jessica Jaw, where is your truly? Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, Let's give the Holy Spirit a, a powerful hand clap. This is still um, a very sacred moment. I promise you that I'm not going to take up so much of your time. Because I believe that today's service is going to be mostly about prophesying on our own lives and prayers. And that is the direction of the, the direction the Lord is giving me. The direction I feel led to. I, it, uh, more than a sermon, it is. Um, it, it should be deliverance and prayer and prophesying upon our own lives as individuals. But before I do that, I, I, I uh, still in this very sacred moment, I don't want any music. I don't, I've already told the girl power team, I don't want any, any music or singing or anything like that. I have a testimony concerning the seed that, you know, that I want to give. There is a young lady who has sung in all, all the weddings, including the mass weddings in Miracle Center. Miracle Center wano. And she's my daughter. She's a girl power girl. Mwara wange wa girl power. And she has been a, you know, she has been in this church since she was a baby. I have, I have, I, I regret not even asking Pastor Kanja to interrupt this. This has never happened. This has never happened. And it will never happen again. That's why I said they should just come quietly because I, I respect and honor my husband so much, but I didn't even tell him about it. But Daphne, where are you? Daphne Oliwa. I just want you to just walk here. I'm sorry because this is supposed to be time for ministry. So, this is just something I've put in. Where is Daphne? Daphne Oliwa. If I, I can't see her, then I'm, I'm not going to. Please, Daphne, walk fast and come. And where is her uh, husband? Daphne, how many people have not Daphne? How many, how, how, many, Daphne. how many of you Daphne has sung on your wedding? Daphne yaimba kumbaga za mwemwanike mikono. In Osha sang on all the mass weddings. Ah, where is the mass wedding? She's the girl who used to to be in Miracle Teens. I think she was. Then when she outgrew Miracle Teens, she stayed in Miracle Teens and sang in all the weddings. Daphne come to the front. Daphne yangu wako jangu maso. And Pastor, if you remember her, she was a baby. She used to be a baby. Then now, now she has turned into a woman. She is now a beautiful woman. She has sung in all our weddings. She sang in mass, in the mass, all the mass weddings. Everybody who has a wedding here says, is Daphne around? So I think most of us know her. So Daphne, Daphne uh, I'm going to give her testimony for her. Because I wanted to announce you here as, as, as a testament to the, to, to the seed. Daphne, after she sang in all these weddings, prayer clinic happened, 77 happened. She prayed and God brought her her own miracle. Who is a husband? Who has is also uh, uh, who has also served in the church? But before, can I give the the, the the testimony of what the husband has come with? Before I I I, I bring the husband. Daf, God is faithful. Because I used to see this this young girl singing. And you know when you have a daughter, you look around to see whether there is a boyfriend. I see nothing. 
not only did God give her a husband, the husband came with a brand new house. She's, pastor, she's not going to rent like the rest of us. She is not starting in a rented house. Am I telling the truth? Do you have anything to add? The house is, she says the house is very big. It is in a gate. It is self-contained. And, and it even has an askari. Why am I saying this? Because if you look at the, 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 the husband who has given her a house, some of you girls might not even believe it. That's why, yes, that's why you need to be very careful, young ladies. When she showed me when her husband told her, we have a, a you know, I'm, I'm taking you into our house and gave her the biapa and everything. She was thinking maybe it's a, a shrine like something small. But she said she had prayed that she didn't want to rent because she has sown a big seed in, 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 in people's weddings. And then he took her to a big house with a gate with an askari and they have the biapa. I want, where, where is Brother Barry? Oh, where Uganda, Barry? Brother Barry. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I think you can see. God has given her a handsome tall. But that is not all. Why I said that you can't believe it. He's a very young man. Yes. Hey. That is a testimony. So some of us, uh, we, we built when our husbands had already started getting. <laughs> we built when I haven't allowed Daphne to speak, but you will get time to testify. So, um, because of a mother, I've combined everything. Plus, yeah, give yeah, me yeah, that yeah. so that I just announced. So these two are going, I'm very sorry. That's Moses. why I'm not going to take up your time. Sure. But you need it because we all know Daphne, so don't Daphne we? To Daphne. 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 The house has spoken for you. We we no further introduction. You can see the guy. Okay, this is a marriage ban. Barry Michael Chisache of Miracle Center Cathedral Rubaga and Daphne Faith Navateriga of Miracle Center Cathedral Rubaga intend to be joined in holy matrimony on the 25th of August 2018 here at the Miracle Center Cathedral at 2 p.m. Now, because it is a marriage ban, I'm obligated to ask that if there is a person who has a lawful reason as to why this couple should not get married, 
Or you should you should say it now. In songe jogere kati. Oh, by 25th you should hold your peace for. Not even 25th to bagambe 24th. Kuhabiri munya te tukura. Sida baja kumbaga. Nobody coming on the wedding. Na ba kocha gamba. Saying anything. We are we have given you four weeks. Tuba wande wichi nyia. But I know that all, 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 if Jesus says yes, nobody can say. So that is it. Let's clap for a couple as they go back. Doesn't she look beautiful? God dako, 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 even when the church had no roof, when they wait, wait the choir would have a bad blue gown. You just knew definitely, definitely when When the bride is coming, they would come in. Daphne, I don't know how many songs she has sung, but Daphne to God be the glory. God is and Barry, God, God, has, God is faithful. God has already rewarded you. I don't have to speak a lot for you. But you know, he can you recite know, the Bible in his Bible head. God okay. bless you so much. Twenty fifth August to August. August to come support them. Okay, let's clap for them. Musumba kayanja to sony we are sorry. We don't do this and we will never do this again. But because she's seventy seven mass weddings and all that I thought that it was important. That we announce her. Hallelujah. 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 Because I've taken up, or I've already taken up half of my time. I'm not going to um, to stay here. We are, we are we are going to begin to pray in a short time. Uh, Psalm 24, verse 7 to 10. Psalm 24, verse 7 to 10. We are still on uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. My brothers and sisters, I bid you not to forget that our fathers were under the clouds and went through the sea. Our fathers were under the clouds and went through the sea. And we are going to look at Exodus uh, again as the children of Israel going through the sea. I don't have to repeat it so much because we've already read it. We read it on, uh, in the last sermon, but in a very few. If you want, even as I'm preaching, you can already stand up and pray. Um, Exodus chapter 13 verse 17 says when Pharaoh let the people go God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country though that was shorter for God said if they face war they might change their minds and return to Egypt so God led the people around by the red sea, the, by the desert road towards the red sea the Israelites went up out of Egypt ready for battle Look at your neighbor and say they were ready for battle. But God said, I will not lead them through the Philistine land. Because if they fight, they will lose faith and go back to Egypt. But the children of Israel were ready for battle. As Pharaoh approached, verse 10, 14, verse 10 says, as Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up. There were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done? 
to bring us by bringing us out of Egypt. Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in this desert. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians today, you, the Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 24. The first, I said Psalm 24, verse 7 to 10, the oh. first, uh, the first one I mentioned. It says, lift up your heads, all ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. I have examined my dictionary and I discovered that the word ancient means distant or belonging to the past. Everlasting doors means something that does not go away. So we must understand that even as God has gets, the devil also has gets. And that's why the Lord says, I'll build my church. And the gates of head shall not prevail against it. The devil not only has gates, he has ancient gates. The devil does not have new tricks. His tricks are old. He has ancient gates and he also has everlasting gates which persist from generation to generation. But the scripture says, lift up your heads, all ye gates. And all ye, ancient, all ye ancient gates. And all ye everlasting doors. So that the king of glory might come in. If you can look at look for the scripture that says, all ye ancient gates. Now the children of Israel were not the ones who were delivered from Egypt were not in bondage because they had been captured. They were in bondage because their great, great, great grandfathers were captured. They were not poor because they, were, they, they themselves were lazy. They were poor because their great grandfathers were poor. So their great grandfathers were taken into captivity. The gates were locked on their great grandfathers. And they were born behind those gates. The ancient gates. And every child that was born was born into slavery. And every child that was born, even though they hadn't been captured, were called slaves because the grandfathers were captured and the fathers were born into captivity and the children were born into captivity. Can, I, can we look for the bus that says ancient gates, please? And be lifted up everlasting doors. Be lifted up all ancient gates that the king of glory may come in. Okay. 
It is okay. That, well, if they can't find it, it's okay. That's enough. My Bible is very different. So the children of the children of Israel went into captivity not because of them but because of what their great grandfathers were exposed to. And I discovered that there are some situations that we find ourselves in. Not because we have worked to them, but because they have followed us from the ancient past. And usually I don't want to talk about generational things because they take responsibility away from individuals and people begin to blame their past. But we get names from our past. And, and we can't avoid the things that come with them. Jesus himself was the king of glory. But they called him the son of a carpenter. Gideon, Gideon said to God Yagamba, after he was told he was a mighty man of valor. He said, no. Yagamba, Nedda, my family, family yang, is very poor here in Manase. Manase. It was about his background. That, de that devil Sitan, delights in magnifying our past so that people can forget our presence. That devil Sitan, delights in magnifying our background so that he can keep us from going forward. Look at your neighbor and say that devil has a master's in history. Because he knows that if he can keep us in the past, we will, we will not go into our future. And we will not go forward. But the devil is alive. 400 years of bondage. 400 years of slavery. Until a generation was born that cried out to God in Exodus chapter 3 verse 7. And they said enough is enough. Our grandfathers may have been slaves. Our fathers may have been slaves. Their children, their great, our great grandparents may have been slaves. But it will stop with us. God listens to a people who can shout out. The children of Israel cried unto the Lord. They said we are tired of things pursuing us. This is ending today. This condition is stopping today. We are tired. Because your grandfather was poor and your father was poor. So you lack money to educate your children. We are tired. It is stopping today. You grow up. The villagers start. That family is Children from that family don't get married. Who told you? Because my grandfather was a slave. You have also called me a slave. We are tired. If they were like that, it is stopping on me. It is stopping on us. Those are always poor. Even when they get some money, they say when money disappears. Those die terrible deaths. Those die prematurely. Those probably die prematurely. But it shall not follow me. It shall not follow me. That condition won't follow me. It is stopping today. Hallelujah. 
They refused to accept what happened to their forefathers. They refused to believe what happened to their ancestors. They refused to accept the ancient gates. They said we are not dying here. It followed them. They won't follow us. Shame on you, devil. We have come against you today. We know you now. When I still have had problems with childbirth, when I miscarried, I found someone on the way who heard about my story and that person knew my family. She said, Ha. Having children in your family is very minimal. Who told you that those things have to follow me? Let them follow me. But for me, it's stopping today. That person told me so and so. Told me. So and so married late. Has only two children. So and so married an old person has one child. Having children is meaningful. You call him a slave because my grandfather was a slave. But you forget that the glory of the Lord is able to break the past from me. Be ye lifted up, ye ancient gates, that the King of Glory may come in. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of Glory may come in. These doors are not easy to break off your life. That's why they call them everlasting doors. What we are delivered from the power of the car. They speak, but you can see something is following them. Everlasting doors. The word everlasting in the Bible comes few times. But on the doors of the people, it's everlasting. It's everlasting doors. Don't think what I'm talking about is small. Let me explain to you that it's not small. The Lord. I'm preaching in local language because these things are tough. They're always amongst us Africans. Some people may not understand. But today some things have to break. Why you not Some things have to live today. The Lord told Moses, I've heard the cry of my children Israel. Now this is the time to rise up, for, to walk out, and leave their bondage. When the Lord tells you to rise up, when He tells you it's your time of deliverance, you rise up immediately and you leave immediately. Let me show you how the gates are not easy. The children of Israel were set free to leave. But the power that led them never touched Pharaoh. They freed them to go. Are you hearing me? But they set them free but Pharaoh was getting his horses and chariots he said those belong to me their forefathers were mine their fathers were mine their children belong to me these ones said we pray we are walking out we are delivered we are going 
magambo ya muni imba you're joking Ani aba gambi who told you kubanga muvude misiri because you've walked out of Egypt misiri aba vude that Egypt has come out of you Ani aba gambi who told you kubanga muvude misiri because you've left Egypt musulumulu kuse that you're totally delivered na yebi awandikwa bigamba but the scriptures say nti wali waka kubo there was a way aka mpimpi a shortcut that would lead them into the promised land the Lord said no pass by the river pass by the Red Sea pass by the sea Osanga. maybe the way you are God. the Lord would have visited you and give you a big house and give you a car give you the money you need but he has brought you this way because you need to offer some things some things have to fall in the water something has to drown in the water and something we had to do something has to fall in the water he told him no way. Go by the Red Sea. The children of Israel. We are ready to fight. They said, if Pharaoh pursues us, we have to fight him. Mm. The Lord said, this is not about fighting. This is about total deliverance. This is not going by fight. Our forefathers were under the cloud. And they went through the waters. The cloud. Plus the water. Stops those ancient gates. Then the Egyptians followed them. They go to the Red Sea. Amazing. You have walked out in glory. The angel is before you. The cloud is ahead of you. But even your taskmasters are pursuing. And you're saying you're delivered. On Lucas, what do they have to say? Now, you have come to the river. Now, let me start to preach the gospel. You have come to the river. Everybody is looking at you. They are saying they are at the river. They are being delivered. They are being healed. They are receiving miracles. But they are saying, How comes their disease is following them? How comes they still have demons? How comes they are still poor? How comes evil spirits are tormenting their children? Just tell them, You are joking. They are following me because I have to leave them somewhere. They are following me because they have to drown somewhere. They are following me because they have to stop somewhere. They are following me because they have to stop somewhere. Tell your neighbor you don't have to laugh at me. You don't have to despise me. These demons following me. They have to drown in this river. Let them follow me. Because when they remain behind, I will go back and meet them. But now, let them follow me to the river. They started crying out. They started shouting. Moses told them no. This is a time for a movie. Not a time to cry. Stand still. And see. They said stand still. Tell your neighbor. And see. They would have loved you before they you came to the river. They would have loved you when you were sleeping in your house. They would have loved you before you came to the river. But now, what followed they your auntie? They followed your grandfather. They are dead. You are unfollowed. You are unpursued. 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 
We are tired of the gates. We are tired of his gates. Be lifted up. All ye ancient gates. And let the king of glory come in. Be lifted up. All ye ancient gates. And let the king of glory come in. Let the glory of the Lord is so powerful. It cannot leave you with those gates. The glory of God is so powerful. It can't leave you with those gates. He is the only one who can break whatever is following. He is the only one who can break what followed from your grandfather. They pursued your relatives. And the river they won't cross over. They will not cross over the river. They won't cross the river. They won't cross the river. If there is something you're not following, you, tell it now. You are not crossing the river. I and my house. We have come to the river. You won't cross the river. You won't cross the river. Be lifted up. All the ancient gates. Be lifted up. All the ancient gates. Be ye lifted up. All the ancient gates. First, listen to this. He told them, stand still. Now that they have followed you at the river, this is the day they will realize and know your God. Today, they will know who the King of Glory is. The horses. We're about 600 with Pharaoh. They came at the waters. I told you, it's not about war, it's the glory. When you're used to being in slavery, you get used to fighting. They don't know where I've come from. The Bible says, the children of Israel came from Egypt. They said, we are ready for battle, we'll kill Pharaoh. But the Lord told them, go by the Red Sea. This is the time for the Lord to fight for you. Who is the king of glory? He is God mighty in battle. Who is the king of glory? He is God mighty in battle. Who is the king of glory? He, the Lord of hosts is his name. God of the hosts is his name. In the glory of the Lord. The Lord is revealed as the Lord of hosts. In the glory of the Lord. The Lord is revealed as the Lord of hosts. In the river there is the glory of the Lord. All of them will die in the water. Whatever pursued you. Whatever followed you. Whatever followed you. Scriptures say this is where I'm amazed at God. I'm amazed at the Bible. The glory of God was going ahead of them. It was before them. Remember scripture said. Be lifted up. So that the king of glory might come. Now that glory. Went on their rear side. The gates that the gates will be lifted. The glory of the Lord went behind them. Where the gates were. 
the glory of the Lord went behind them and blocked the gates Be ye lifted up, ye ancient gates, so that the King of Glory might come in. Come in. The King and all his people drowned in the sea the Lord told the children of Israel this day we are moving forward we are moving forward we are moving forward we are moving forward there are things we have to pray to our there are some things we are living in the river parents that followed you from your forefathers followed your hands drop in the sea today we are leaving something poverty that followed you followed your forefathers followed your father break it off you drop it in the water king of glory come in who is the king of glory he is the lord who is mighty in battle he is the lord who is mighty in battle Whatever is pursuing you from the ancient days that you see in your children, that you see upon your husband, break it, break it down. Who is the King of Glory? He is mighty in battle. He is mighty in battle. This time, your God is coming in the cloud to fight for you. This time, your God. Is coming in the cloud to fight for you. This time, your God is coming in the cloud to fight for you. Let him block the gates. Let him hinder the gates that have been following you from the ancient Be lifted up. The ancient gates that the King of Glory might come in. Be lifted up. The ancient gates that the king of glory might come in your father was a slave they call you a slave even the man who educated you is now because you were born in slavery be lifted up O ye ancient gates let the king of glory king of glory come in be lifted up O ye ancient gates let the king Glory, I tell you, I mean, be lifted up. One catch away, then it all ye ancient gates. Let the king of glory, I tell you, come in. One catch, get over Gumba, or barrenness. One catch, get over for poverty. One catch, get over to form me. One getting married. One catch, get over Kulemera Kuruja. Staying in your one catch, get over to Zara. Barrenness. One catch, get over. Of divorce. I break it down. Be lifted up. One catch your wet down. Let the King of Kings come. One catch. Get. Of immorality. Get. Of immorality. One catch. Get. Of ancient gates. Be lifted up. 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 Say I'm not going back with it. It is falling in the river. I'm not going back with it. It is falling in the river. Be lifted up. All the Asian gates. Be lifted up. All the Asian gates. What followed? What followed you? Your forefathers. That were in Bridgeport. They sacrificed their offerings. Break them. They're stopping on you. They're stopping on you. They are 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 stopping on you. Let them fall in the river. Let them fall in the river. Let them fall in the river. Let 
total deliverance is by the glory of God. Total deliverance is by the glory of God. Total deliverance is by the glory of God. He must see what be lifted up. One catch. Oh ye. Oh we done it down. Ancient gates. He must see what be lifted up. He must see what be lifted up. Let the king of glory come in. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the God Lord of hosts. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the Lord God of hosts. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the Lord God of hosts. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the Lord God of hosts. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the Lord God of hosts. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the Lord God of hosts. Yo yo mukama katonda we je. He's the Lord God of hosts. Ania ya gamba. Who told you? We sitadi. You devil. We pharaoh. You pharaoh. To kuvanga watu alaba jaja. Because you took my forefathers. Nango ntuwa. That you're taking me. Ania ya gamba. Who told you? We pharaoh. You pharaoh. To kuvanga watu alaba jaja. Because you captured my aunties. That you're capturing me. Ania ya gamba. Who told you? We pharaoh. You pharaoh. To kuvanga watu alaba jaja. Because you captured my family members. Nango ntuwa. That you're taking me. Kale wankacho we daneda. All you Asian gets. Ni musibwa. Be lifted up. Kale wankacho we daneda. You Asian gets. Ni musibwa. Be lifted up. Kale wankacho we daneda. All you Asian gets. Ni musibwa. Be lifted up. Leka kabaka. Let the king. Owe chitiwa. Glory. Aitewo. Come in. Leka kabaka. Let the king. Owe chitiwa. Glory. Aitewo. Come in. Leka mukama. Let the Lord. Katondo owe je. God of hosts. Aitewo. Come in. Leka mukama. Let the Lord. Katondo owe je. God of hosts. Aitewo. Come in. Leka mukama. Let the Lord. Katondo owe je. God of hosts. Aitewo. Come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah. Isaiah. Gamba kuri nani? Tell the person next to you. That the gates are lifted. The gates have opened. Whatever bound me. I've run away from Behold I've gone through the gates That held me in poverty I've gone through the gates That bound me in barrenness I've gone through the gates That bound me in witchcraft I've gone through the gates That bound me in curses He has passed He has come through He has come through The Lord God of hosts He has come in the Lord God of hosts. He has come in. The Lord God of hosts. Say you get. Get. Are opening. I've come in. The gates are lifted. Wankachi. Gates. Owe daneda. Asian gates. Eya nsiva. That bound me. Eya vakuwa jaja. From my forefathers. Eya vakuwe chika. From my family members. Owe kutudeko. I've broken him of my life. Agu demu mazi. He's fallen in the waters. Agu demu mazi. He has fallen in the waters. Agu demu mazi. They have fallen in the waters. Wankachi. Gates. Oyo owe daneda. Asian gates. Owo wavu. Of poverty. Owo wavu gumba. Of barrenness. Owo wavu rade. Of diseases. Owo wavu tafumbirwa. Not getting married. Oh, oh, kunova. Of divorce. Oh, oh, utazala. Of barrenness. Oh, oh, mabanja. Of debt. Oh, oh, utazimba. Of not building. Oh, oh, upangi sa. Of renting. Wankachi. Gets. Oh, we done it down. Ancient gets. I must see boy. I lifted up. Katika waka ingira. Now the king is coming. Oh, we je ne je. The horse. Kavako we me a ingira. He's coming in. Ye katondo wa mani. He's a mighty god. Ye katondo we ch. Oh, 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 lutalo. He's the god of battle. Kavaka ingira. The king is coming in. The God of hosts. The king is coming in. The king is coming in. The king is, the king is walking in. He's the God of hosts. He's the Lord God of hosts. He's the mighty God. He's the mighty God. He is the mighty God. He is the mighty God. Gamba kuli na yenti chigeze. Tell your neighbor they are gone. Katika waka. Now the king. Katondo weje. The God of hosts. Kaite wo. Let him come in. Kavaka. The king. Katondo weje. God of hosts. Kara neka. Let him fight now. Kavaka. The king. Katondo weje. The God of hosts. Kavizi se kati. Let him hinder them now. Yo yo kavaka katondo wo. He is the king. The Lord of hosts. Ye wa mani mulo talo. He is the mighty one in battle. Isaiah chapter sixty. Verse eleven. Isaiah and Kago were coming over. Obo bunabi. That is a prophecy. Your gates shall be open continually. Wankachi sosina yongera ngoko kuruanga. 
day and night they shall not be shut that people may bring to you the wealth of the nation with their kings led in procession some things have been hindering for people to come to you doors have been locked up the gates have been shut down but now the gates are lifted up behold wealth is coming in behold money is coming in behold the kings are coming that is a prophecy receive it in the name of Jesus Isaiah 60 Verses 11. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The gates are lifted up. The Asian gates are lifted up. Whatever has been hindering you from entering, uh, entering now in the name of Jesus. They are entering in the name of Jesus. Some things you've asked for. Say, Lord, I want a wedding. I want a bill. But they could not come in. But the Lord said, Behold, the gates are open. Not just open. Will continue be open. Continually. Your gates will be open. Forever. Forever. All your packages. Are coming in the name of Jesus. Whatever was hindered. Is coming in the name of Jesus. Whatever was bound outside. Are coming in the name of Jesus. He said they are coming. Even the kings, you are going to be shocked when you see them. They will be on your door because the gates have been lifted. Tell the person, the gates are open. Receive it in the spirit now. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it. Whatever was bound by the ancient gates. And whatever you prayed for many years ago. From Saturday. I feel there are things we prayed for. And they delayed to come. But the ancient gates have been lifted up. Receive it in the spirit. And believe it. As the scriptures say. He wants to. Your guests will continually be open forever and ever. Your guests will be open forever and ever. Your guests will be open forever and ever. Clap your hands to the Lord.